Good evening, everybody. It is Friday, which means your work week is over. Mine's not. Mine's just getting started. So you can feel sorry for me all weekend while you're sitting in your lawn chair and enjoying this beautiful weather. Hopefully you've got beautiful weather where you're at. We had, let's see, it was close to 80 today and it was close to 80 yesterday. So it's been really, really nice. We had a little bit of rain this afternoon, but not much. So we're staying dry and warm. Made a lot of difference out there standing at the carts today, though. All right, we have a lot of pretty stuff for you to look at tonight. We've got earrings, we have long necklaces, and we have short necklaces so that you can put them with all your new pantsuits. <laughs> You're going to have to have new jewelry to go with your new clothes. You know, that's the way it works. So buy the jewelry first, and then you buy clothes to match the jewelry because that's how it works. It works better that way. Hey, Violet, good to see you. You home sitting and resting tonight? Hey, Shannon. Good to see you, too. Wasn't it beautiful today, Shannon? I know you you were out at SMPW, too, right? It was really pretty down there. We were on Fayetteville Street, and we had a breeze blowing, but it was not cold. It was a perfect day. I'll probably have allergies, you know, have an allergy attack tomorrow because it blew all the pollen around. But it was a nice day to stand out there anyway. All right. Make sure you're saying hi as you come in because I can't see you unless you do. So I can say hi to you. Hi, Estley. Good to see you. It's been a little while. I saw Daisy last week. She was on here. Yeah, it was nice. It was a beautiful day. So Daisy isn't here to supervise you tonight, Estley. So you can buy whatever you want. She said so. I won't tell her you did. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. This necklace that I have on is called Hollywood Hills. This is actually one of our blockbusters, so we have this all the time. It has round rhinestones, and they are little clusters of rhinestones that are hinged together so it'll lay flat against your breastbone. These are also some of our blockbuster earrings. They're the Glitzy by Association in white, which means they're silver with white rhinestones. They are also available all the time. So I have an unlimited supply of those. So if you want either of those, just tell me that you want my earrings or my necklace and um, I'll make sure you get them. We're not going to give them a number. Hey mom, I got a video call you after the show is over so you can talk to Judy, okay? Because we don't want to miss out. So you have to stay up a little longer. We're going to keep you up all night. All right, we're going to get started. This is Daintily Dapper in Gold. This is a choker length necklace. We have one strand that has small white pearly beads on it and then two strands of gold chain. Of course, the chokers come with the extra extension. So if you'd rather have a smaller or shorter necklace, that is what this extension is for. So it'll make it a fairly short necklace. We'll show you on the mannequin if I can keep the necklace in my hand. So this is the choker length sitting right around the base of your neck, which is where I don't like to wear them. But with that extra extension, you can bring it down to about here. So you can see it's still going to be really in this upper chest area. It's going to be a very short necklace, but it will not be a choker. So you don't have to choke yourself on it. So we have three of these in stock. We turn the little earrings around. They like to turn in the tags and then they get stuck in the glue. There we go. Daintily Dapper in gold, and we have three of them. They are going to be number 31 tonight because I lost numbers one through 30. <laughs> okay, you know how it is. I just ordered a new set of numbers. This one is a longer necklace. This is called Galactic Glow. Galactic Glow. Let me move my hand out from behind it because it's really... A little bit more transparent than it shows. These have a little bit of a purple and a blue cast to them. They have an iridescent finish, which is why you see that. And then the outside is kind of like a twisted rope. Our earrings also those little iridescent beads. And if you want to upgrade those to something a little bit larger, of course we have it. This is the length. So sitting right here in the mid abdomen, basically right in the middle with the two inch extension. It is going to sit down here by your belly button. So right about there. 
These would be great for the pantsuits, you know. Gotta have them. This is Galactic Glow in multi. We have three of these as well. And it is number 32. Number 33. We have earrings. Fraun Fairy Tale in white. These are little marquee shaped white rhinestones. These earrings are hinged in the middle. They kind of look like a little branch with leaves on them. This is the length and size, just to give you an idea. Of course, I can't fit my head in between these two, so they're backwards on me, but they'll face toward your face and kind of curve toward it. I have two of these left. Frond Fairy Tale in white is number 33. Let's see, number 34, we have some fish hook earrings. These are bustling blooms in orange. Let me get those up close because they have little tiny orange rhinestones in the center of those flowers. It's a little cascade of flowers. And then we have the orange rhinestones in the centers. This is the length and size. So not a huge earring. And because they're dainty, they don't take up a lot of space. They don't look huge. This is my last pair of these. So bustling blooms in orange, number 34. Number 35. Look, it's almost time for a question already. Another long one. This is very visionary in green. Hi, Terry. Good to see you. Very visionary in green. So we have some green faceted beads. We also have some round beads in opaque and transparent green. And then we have these cute little squares set on point and the slightly oval hoops. So these are not round hoops, they're slightly oval. And this is the length and size. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> this one is down probably below the belly button or near it already. With the two inch extension, you're halfway to that dropped waist. So right in this territory, it's probably gonna be about where your waistband of your pants is gonna sit. This one has nice big loops though. So if you wanted to shorten that a little bit, you could fasten into one of these loops instead. I let the extra chain just hang down my back because it's gonna go down my shirt and nobody's gonna see it. So this is very visionary in green. I have two of them. And it is number 35. All right, so now it's the fun part. It's time to ask a question. Let's see, I found one already. Where did it go? We have three answers on this one and we're going to take answer number two as the winning answer. So name something considerate that people often do for you in an elevator. Something considerate that people often do for you in an elevator. Hey, Marlo. Yes, you're just in time. We only did the first five, so you can catch up later. The replay will be up for you. Hey, Allison. Good to see you. Hold the door. That is number one. Push the button. There you go. That's number two, Violet. You got it. And moving to the side was number three. Yeah, asking you which floor would probably be a good idea before they push the button, right? <laughs> Just don't push random buttons on there. Otherwise, you're going to be stopping at every floor. But um, if they ask you the floor and then they push the button, that would make more sense. However, the answer only says push button. So Violet got it first. Let you out. Well, I would hope so. We don't want to be trapped there forever. That wouldn't be much fun, especially if you don't like the person or if they're stinky. <laughs> All right, next we have Beach House Hustle in purple. These are opaque and semi-transparent beads. Kind of oblong shaped, almost like have a double chain at the top. So one chain that they're attached to and then a chain, a row above it. The earrings are those same oblong beads. This <clears throat> is the length of this necklace. If I can get it to lay right. 
it's much easier when you're putting them on yourself and you unclasp them than putting them over your head. They lay better. But this is the length. They're just barely below the collar. So about half and half above and below the collar. With the two inch extension, it's gonna sit down to about mid chest, right about here. So this one is Beach House Hustle. It is in purple and I have two of them. Number 36. So did everybody pick out their memorial outfit and, and the outfit for this weekend yet? Did everybody get theirs together? I still don't know what I'm wearing. Especially after the update today. Now I don't, really don't know what I'm wearing. They just threw a wrench in the works. I think they have a deal with the clothing companies. And see, I had bought skirts and dresses like six months ago so that my wardrobe was set. Everything matched. And since I did that, now they changed everything. And now I have to buy pants too. Pretty sure that there was a conspiracy going on there. Mom, you got yours together already? Why don't you come pick out mine? That'll be easier. You do that, and then I don't have to think about it. This is closed circuit sass. It is in multi because we have both gold and silver rings on this earring. It's double-sided, so we have a row going up one side and down the other. This is the length and size. This is good if you have a multi-metal necklace. So we have closed circuit sass in multi, number 37. I do have two of those. Let's see, you haven't decided what to wear, but you, you will when you get, my, you get the jewelry from me, okay? It is going to be on its way tomorrow morning. It just came in this afternoon, so I'll be sending that out to you tomorrow morning, and it should get there in plenty of time, unless they decide to send it to, you know, Timbuktu first. You know, how they've been routing it lately. It's taking a little leisurely jaunt through France, down through Africa, before it comes back to California. I don't know what the mail room's doing, but evidently they must get paid more than I do. All right, this one is Bling Into Focus. This is a longer necklace. This is on a leather cord. So we have the large silver hoop, and then we have a rhinestone encrusted bead. I almost can't say that. Rhinestone encrusted bead between two silver beads up at the top. It depends on what the temperature is. Yeah, I see it's supposed to be cooler next week. It's supposed to be down in the 50s again. So I think that may also influence what I wear. This one is down at belly button level with the two inch extension. We're gonna be close to that dropped waist again. So around waistband of your pants level. I have three of these. This is Bling Into Focus in black. And it is number 38. You're not doing pants. I am gonna be one of the brave souls that wears pants to the special talk and to the memorial. So they threw a real wrench in my works. Not that I had picked anything out anyway. But um, so now I have to rethink what I was thinking. I hadn't decided, but now I really haven't decided. This one is Celestial Royal in blue, my favorite color of blue. Royal blue at the top in that solitaire shape and then hematite rhinestones on the bottom, which are that dark gray color in a rectangular shape. Our earrings are the blue rhinestones in the round shape. This is the length. So our blue rhinestone is above the collar. Gray rhinestones are below the collar. With the two inch extension, it is going to hit center chest. I know, I know how you feel, Shannon. I have two of these available. This is Celestial Royal in blue, number 39. However, this is your excuse to tell Danny that you need to go shopping again because now you don't have what you need. You have too many skirts and dresses and not enough pants. So it's time to go shopping. I went to the thrift store today with my friend Judy and I told her the sisters must have all already been there because 
there were no pants. There were only a few pairs of pants and there were a lot of dresses. The lady at the register said it's just dress season. I guess everybody's getting them for Easter. So as usual, they don't have what I need. I told her we need to get on the same schedule so that when I need pants, they have pants. And when I need dresses, they have dresses. Because usually it's totally backwards. But I don't think she listened. These are just bow with it. Rhinestone bows. This is a post earring. <laughs> he wasn't buying the excuse. I'm sorry. Just take his credit card while he's sleeping. The post is right in the middle. So right through the center of our bow. It's going to be hard to tell how big one is because it's hard to separate them on this card. But this gives you an idea of the size and the length. So just bow with it. Two pairs of these. Number 40. These would dress up a black pantsuit. You're more of a dress person, Violet. I think, especially for summertime, I definitely will be because those skirts are so much cooler than pants. At least you can get like breeze with a skirt. But um, pants are not going to work when it is 90 degrees here and 70% humidity. All right, this one is on the tag backwards, so I'm just going to hold it backwards. This is called Druzy Demand. It is in silver. So the Druzy is like that little chopped up rock or a gemstone. It kind of feels pointy. You know, like the crushed rock that's on your driveway. Kind of that shape. This is in blue and in silver. Teardrop and round shapes. You're going to put them in cute suits with ties. You're going to make them wear ties? How abusive. That's terrible, Allison. I'm kidding. Don't tell the boys I said that. This one is a half an inch above the collar with the two-inch extension. <clears throat> it is going to sit just below the collar. So right about here. This one, again, is Druzy Demand. It is in silver, and I have two of these. It is number 41. Max had a meeting tonight, and I picked on him and asked him if he was going to go in a whole suit and his tie. And he actually wore a short sleeve shirt, which he never wears short sleeves. And he did not wear a tie or a jacket. So I was shocked. I'm not sure if I'm still married to the same man, to be honest. The bow earrings for you. Let's see. Those were number 40. Gotcha, Esley. You just spent 200 bucks on suits and they're wearing them. I hear you. <laughs> All right. Timeless tassels in white. I just have one of these left. This is two tassels at the bottom. And then they split into a multi-layer tassel toward the bottom again. We have faceted white beads. We have polished silver beads. I don't know if you can see these. Or, and, not or, the white pearly beads. And then we have a pear-shaped white pearly bead at the bottom. Yes, Sheen is amazing. That's where I was looking for pantsuits today. And I was looking for Maxim dress pants, but he has such abnormally large, long legs that they don't, <laughs> they don't have them. They stop at like a 30 length and um, he wears a 34. So he would just be wearing capri pants, I guess, if I got him those. This is the length. So we have a little section of beads up here at the bust. And then our tassels fall all the way down past the belly button here with the two inch extension, gonna be really close to this dropped waist at the bottom. So probably gonna go past your waistband. Of course, it does depend on how it fits you, um, how large chested you are, for one thing. May shorten it up a little bit. It's probably not gonna fit me like that. So this is Timeless Tassels in white. Just one of those, number 42. Okay, number 43, more earrings. We have good, nat good Natured Spirit in brown. We have, I don't know what to call this. I guess an imperfect circle is what they call it. And then another hammered circle above it. We have Tiger's Eye and Jade Stones. St 
stacked in the center of those earrings. So you have the brown and the green. This is the length and size. So putting them in front of my earrings, hopefully you can see them well enough. These are a good natured spirit in brown. I have one pair of these left, number 43. Number 44. Hello, Ruth. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Number 44. 44. <laughs> yellow flowers. These are a post earring. So we have the yellow metal petals. And then we have the little pearly beads and silver beads in that center to make up the center of the flower. Our post is right up here. So it is gonna hang down from your ear a little bit, kind of like that. And I do have two pairs of these left. So these are number 44, Jovial Jasmine in yellow. Yellow is such a happy color. It's a good spring color. Next we have this is one of the urban necklaces. So this one doesn't come with earrings because it can be for a man or a woman. And we don't want the man to throw the earrings away. So here's urban quarterback is what they call this. The large links, large flat links in gold. This does still have an extension on it. I like to use these for layering. I'll put another short necklace or two necklaces or even another layered necklace up in here to fill in this space and then have this be my longer necklace. So it's falling at the bust right here with the two inch extension. It's going to fall just below the bust. So you could use a number of different lengths up in here to fill in, in that space if you wanted to. Make your own layered necklace. So we just have one of these. This is Urban Quarterback in gold or you can buy it for your husband if you wanna let him wear it. This is number 45. I wouldn't share personally. All right, so now I have to find another question. How did we get here already? Time always goes so fast. Let's see. Let's try this one. Three answers. I think we should try number two on this one too. Name a profession where you might have a dog for a sidekick. A profession where you might have a dog for a sidekick. Who's gonna work with a dog? Police, police was number one. I have those canines. Firefighter, that was number two. You got it, Terry. Who wants to guess at number three? I wasn't too sure about this one, whether you'd get it or not. That's why I didn't pick that one. Dog trainer is a good answer, but not on there. Security guards, also a good answer. Circus act, you got it. It said a performer, but act is good. So circus act or a performer. That was the other one. Guide dog. That's a good one, too. You have a lot of good answers. They should have asked you this question instead. Okay. You meant that as a joke? Well, that was the answer. I can't, I don't know what to tell you. You know, some of these answers don't always make sense. But it worked. All right. I have just one of these, just one in the multi. I do have this in the regular white which would be just plain white rhinestones. This is the iridescent rhinestones. I love the iridescent rhinestones because you can wear this with almost any color because it's gonna take in the colors that you're wearing and the colors in the environment around you and reflect them back to you. So we have the oval, the teardrop, the marquee shaped rhinestones. These are all set on a bar. So this is all one piece. They're not gonna move around. It's called Never Slay Never. They have terrible names. This That's because they don't let me name them. This is the length, so it's sitting mostly above the collar. With the two inch extension, it's gonna be just above mid chest. So it's not quite gonna make mid chest length. 
it is going to be below this collar. So this is the only one of these I have. Never slay never in multi. If you'd rather have the white one, I do have that one available. And I have a couple of those. So it is number 48. Wait a minute. Where'd 46 and 47 go? <laughs> you know what? It's going to be a long day. I don't know where 46 and 47 went. Okay. I'll just start as 48. We're almost done anyway. Good thing. Because I think I'm losing it. All right. Next up. Sentimental Shimmer in blue. So a pretty filigree. And then we have hammered teardrops hanging from the bottom. Little blue crystal beads hanging in the middles of these filigree pieces. This is on a fish hook back. And I have two of them. This is the length and size. See, these are going to dance while you're wearing them. Sentimental Shimmer in blue. We have two of them. Number 49. Number 50. We have bright pink. Vivaciously versatile. I almost couldn't read my own writing. Vivaciously versatile. Hi, Kim. These are in a hot pink, and they're separated by little silver polished beads. And then our earrings are the same pieces. So this is like a trapezoid shape. See, I finally got it, Terry. I finally remembered that it's called a trapezoid. This is the length, so it's sitting just above the collar, about half an inch below above the collar. With the two-inch extension, it's going to sit just below the collar. So right about here. You're watching on YouTube. Please tell me you don't have me on your big TV again. That's not a good look for me. Put me down on the teeny tiny screen. This is vivaciously versatile in pink. I have two of them. It is going to be number 50 since we were missing two numbers. So we're going to go to 52 because we still have other pieces to get in. All right, next is another longer one. This is called Palm Promenade. Oh, no, you have me on the big screen. I hope you don't have anybody there in the room with you. And I hope you haven't eaten dinner yet. This is a silver palm leaf. And then we have silver beads above and below and a little tassel at the bottom. I have two of these necklaces. This is a good summer necklace. We're feeling beachy. This one, the palm leaf sits about in the mid abdomen. Our tassel runs all the way down below the belly button. With the two inch extension, it's going to sit really close to this dropped waist down here. So right about there. This one is palm promenade. It is in silver. It is number 51. And last but not least, because they're all pretty. We have one pair of these earrings. They are glacial glades in purple. They are a frosted bead in marquee shape. And these are kind of a lilac purple because they have a little bit of a pinkish tint i don't know if you can see that the pinkish tint to the purple this is the length and size so we have glacial glades in purple and it is number 52 our final piece for the night of course if you didn't see what you want you can always shop the website 24 seven. It never sleeps, kind of like me. So it'll be open all night and I'll probably see your order when it comes in. And if you need anything shipped really quickly for the memorial, um, there's a good chance that if I ship it tomorrow or Monday, it will still get to you in time for the memorial. So make sure you let me know that you need this for the memorial so I can go ahead and get that out quickly for you. So Allison, yours is on the way. I think that's the only one who needed it specifically for the memorial. 
except for Terry and hers just came in today. So they'll be on their way tomorrow morning. Um, but if anybody else needs something specifically for the memorial, make sure you let me know. And I'll go ahead and get that out for you. All right, we're going to see you back. What day is today? Today's Friday. We're going to see you back Sunday, Sunday night at 7 p.m. And we will have one and done, which means every piece is the last one. And I cannot reorder those. So if you want it, you got to get it quick. So make sure you flex your fingers, get them all stretched out, warmed up before the show starts at 7 so that you can be really quick with your mouse or your keyboard or whatever you're using. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Hopefully our weather is going to hold out for us a little bit longer and we can get some stuff done. See you guys. I'll see you on Sunday night. Everybody have a good night.